Which is the better Kathy Wood stock to buy? Both Roku and Tesla are among Kathy Wood's top holdings in her ARK Innovation ETF portfolio. Of course, the popular portfolio investment manager is attracted to innovative stocks, companies that are growing, that have strong secular tailwinds. Roku and Tesla are no uh, different than a lot of the other stocks that she likes to own. So let's answer that question in this video, looking at four different metrics, starting with the quarterly year over year revenue growth and going back to before 2019, they had similarly robust growth rates Tesla getting ahead of Roku during certain times and then Roku getting ahead of Tesla and then Tesla surpassing Roku as Roku faces significant headwinds did not deal as well with the supply chain disruptions during the pandemic did not deal as well with inflation and the, the rest uh, Tesla's revenue growth of 37 percent was more than three times the 11.91 percent of roku so tesla with the advantage in terms of revenue growth next let's look at operating profit margin for the trailing 12 months again going back to before 2019 and again both companies had a very nice upward trajectory all the way until about 2022 when they diverted and Roku's operating margin started to collapse, turning negative 8.3% in the most recent trailing 12 months. Meanwhile, Tesla remained on the upward path, staying at 16.98% operating profit margin, way better than Roku here. So a considerable advantage to Tesla. And I would say that this advantage is likely to persist for Tesla, even though yes, Tesla is facing increasing competition. It just lowered its prices by thousands of dollars on two of its most popular cars. So that is going to bring down its gross profit margins. However, Roku is facing a stronger headwind because it's facing higher cost of goods sold and Roku also has not increased prices on its player unit sales because it wanted to focus on customer growth and customer acquisition and so its margins have been declining as a result of that decision. Next, I wanted to look at cash flow from operations and compare Roku and Tesla in this metric. And again, uh, similar upward trends for both of them up until 2022 when ca when Roku's fortunes really turned around going from a cash flow from operations in the trailing 12 months over 240 million to negative 21 million in its most recent trailing 12 months meanwhile Tesla's upward trend continued coming down a little bit in its most recent quarter from the previous quarter but still very robust 14.72 billion dollars in cash flow from operations for Tesla so Tesla has the advantage here wins this uh, metric as well so so far three out of the three metrics Tesla has an incredible advantage my final metric is going to be valuation and when I'm seeing this kind of outperformance the only way that the underperforming company has a chance is if its valuation is way cheaper than the one that's uh, doing better. So let's look if Roku's valuation is cheap enough to make up for the lack of performance compared to Tesla. And what I have here is valuation metrics comparing Roku on price to earnings ratio with Tesla on price to free cash flow and price to sales. Starting with price to earnings ratio, Roku is more expensive than Tesla trading at 88.89 in its most recent update. Of course, its profits turned negative recently, so it's not even a orange to oranges comparison. Uh, and Tesla at 53.18, uh, so Tesla cheaper in uh, looking at this metric. Same with price to free cash flow, Roku at uh, 66.86, while Tesla is at 88.55. So in this metric, Tesla is more expensive, but Roku's cash flow has been negative, as we saw in the in one of the earlier slides. So it's not a, it's not an apples to apples comparison here because Roku's negative now, and we're looking at its metric going back to July of 2022, when we're looking at Tesla's uh, at 
uh, more recent update. And then uh, price to sales, we can measure them uh, like for like because uh, sales are never negative, or I shouldn't say never, but sales are very rarely negative for any company and uh, certainly not for Roku. So looking at the price to sales, Tesla's selling at a 8.2 price to sales ratio. Uh, while Roku is at 2.885. So Roku is significantly cheaper than Tesla in this metric. But looking across the board, you know, if we if we look at price to earnings, Tesla is cheaper than Roku. And so it's not clear that Roku is cheaper in all metrics here. And uh, regardless of the fact, I, I, in my opinion, Tesla's outperformance compared to Roku in the three other metrics that we considered justifies its premium valuation here in the, for this much, right? If Tesla was, you know, trading at a price to sales of, let's say, uh, 20 when Roku was 2.885, then I might say, okay, that, that premium is a little bit overdone. But a premium of just... Uh, uh, you know, a little more than double. That's I feel that's justified. Tesla is is, is handily outperforming Roku in this in in uh, in fundamental metrics. So if I had to say which Kathy Wood stock is the better buy, I would say Tesla stock is the better Kathy Wood stock to buy here. All right, that's all I've got for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.